I just want to thank Pastor Cesar and Pastora Claudia and also to Bishop Uriel and Pastora Jer for this great privilege to be able to share to you in this very historic conference. I just want to share to you the importance of divine direction. In Isaiah 48 verse 17, it says, Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God who teaches you the prophet, who leads you by the way you should go. So first and foremost, our God is a God who loves to direct. It specifically says that I will lead you, the verse says, that God will lead us in the way we should go. So that is why my topic today is divine or the importance of divine direction. I would like to share to you about our journey as a church here in Butuan about divine direction. A few years ago, I felt God is leading us as a church to engage in online business or online jobs because there is a great opportunity when it comes to creating wealth or finances in the area of online business or online jobs. So that was about more than two years ago. So I felt led that you are going to engage in this particular field. So as we responded, we studied and tried to engage in online uh, jobs or any opportunities. You know, as a result of this divine direction that God has led us, right now, the Lord is blessed even in the midst of pandemic. We were not affected by the crisis because most of our people now are working online. In fact, the more they were able to have a lot of opportunities to be employed or to work during this time. So right now, we have already more than 30, or to be exact, about 36 home offices. These are the platforms that we encourage all our leaders to establish home offices. This will be the place where they are going to start their online work or online jobs. The main purpose for these home offices is, number one, is for the ministry, for discipleship, so that they can hire new people where they can help, bless, and serve because they're going to provide them jobs. So at the same time, the main purpose is to disciple them. And as a result, a lot of powerful testimonies, even in the midst of pandemic, the vision continues in the home offices. Even though we have also in the community, but in the home offices, the vision continues effectively because the people are working in the home office, they're consistent every day. They're there more than eight hours, depending on their jobs. They are there consistently. So discipleship and training is in a continual basis. So right now, we already have more than 30, you know, at least 36 home offices surrounding the church because our church is located in subdivision area. We encourage all our leaders to establish home offices there to rent and establish just like what you are seeing now in the pictures or videos that we are presenting. That's how their home offices looks like. We are discipling people you know, their basic lifestyle. Not only that, the, the second uh, major focus of doing the home offices is the uh, finances, or we call it money street. So we were able to generate big amount of money from this direction that we have received from the Lord. So in fact, our leadership campsite project continues in the midst of this pandemic. And this is a result of the resources that was generated by our uh, OFW, we call it OFW, Online Filipino Workers. So they're the one 
sewing for this project and as a result our goal of raising 5 million this year to finish the, the fencing project is almost reached. This is a result of divine direction. Also because of this divine direction we were able to build strong men. One of the struggles of men in this side of the Philippines you know is the challenge of becoming productive financially, especially with the men. But, you know, God has uh, provided, directed us. This is not the end, but this is just the beginning where they can generate money so that they can save money so that the next level will be for investment because they cannot invest when they don't have enough. We are so grateful to the Lord because of the divine direction that God has given us during this time. Our goal for these home offices is to raise up covenant millionaires or financial armor bearers. This is what uh, the Lord is leading me to do. And I'm so grateful because it is the Lord who lead us, but at the same time, He's the one fulfilling it. He's the one opening doors. We don't know about online thing, but God lead us this opportunity and now it's growing you know 36 home offices each home offices has a lot of disciples working under those leaders running the home offices so we are intentionally working on this thing because we know that this is a major divine direction in fact bishop oriel wants us to excel in the area of creating wealth we are not taking this lightly we are intentionally building in fact we have a goal next year is to establish 144 home offices and uh, one of our plans in the next few months we're saving up money to buy hectares of land so that we are going to build communities of online home offices this is exciting that's what bishop Oriel said we're not the best but we are the first of this kind in this area of the Philippines. It's exciting because we can really see that there is empowerment. You know, our leaders before they're, they're used to spend a lot of money to take care of their disciples. Now, most of their disciples are already working. So the burden is already shared. So it's no longer much of a burden because a lot are no longer suffering financially because the way they work is not limited no to butuan city alone but they're working now they're earning dollars they're earning currency that is not limited to the philippines so as a result of this divine direction our leaders are really blessed financially uh, a lot of leaders have experienced breakthrough in their online job a lot of them have already reached more than six digits income a month. In fact, some of them reach 300,000 a month. So that's exciting because it's not common here in uh, our city. A lot of managers here, the rate are less than 50,000 or even department heads less than 50,000. But, you know, because of divine direction, these leaders have experienced financial breakthrough through online jobs even teenagers now they're earning a lot of money because of this divine direction that god has given us today i would like to share to you about the importance of divine direction in isaiah 48 verse 17 it says thus says the lord your redeemer the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. So divine direction is very, very important in our lives, especially in this time of crisis, because it's just like knowing your purpose, but you don't know how to be able to deliver it. For example, you know your vision or your calling already to win souls and make disciples, to produce cell group leaders, but you don't know the specific directions 
how you're going to deliver it, you will end up being frustrated. And that's how important a divine direction is. So what is divine direction? Divine direction is the specific step God is leading you to accomplish His purpose. You know, there are many biblical examples that I'm going to share to you about divine direction. First is Noah. Noah received an instruction from the Lord, a specific instruction from the Lord. In Genesis 6 verse 14 and 15, God said to Noah, No, make for yourself an ark. You see, uh, God clearly gave Noah a specific instructions or specific direction to build an ark. And in the end, Noah and his whole family was saved and God's purpose at that particular time was fulfilled. So number two, another example of divine direction is Abraham. In Genesis 12, verse 1 to 3, Now the Lord said to Abraham, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to the land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you, and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curses you. And in you all families of the earth shall be blessed. So again, Abraham received a specific direction or specific step or steps from the Lord. That's why Abraham was able to deliver God's purpose in his generation. And God's purpose upon Abraham was fulfilled because Abraham obeyed the specific instruction God has given him. Another example is Isaac. Isaac, in the midst of famine, wanted to go to Egypt, but God appeared to him and said to him, Stay here because I'm going to bless you. Isaac received a specific direction to stay in Gerar because God is going to bless him and not go to Egypt and stay in Gerar. And God is going to bless him. And as Isaac responded to God's direction, Isaac ended up being the wealthiest man, even in a place that is not his own. Now, by virtue of divine direction. Another example is Moses. Moses saved his whole nation by virtue of divine direction. Exodus 3 verse 10, God said, Come now therefore and I will send you to Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And as uh, Moses responded to divine direction, the whole nation of Israel was saved through the life of Moses. Number five, the next example is Joseph. Joseph excelled in the midst of famine by virtue of divine direction. He was able to interpret dreams, the dreams of Pharaoh, seven years of abundance and seven years of famine. Because of that wisdom that God has given him, he ended up from being a prisoner into a prime minister. And in the New Testament, we can see that even Jesus himself received a specific direction from the Lord, from God, the Father. Jesus said in John 4, verse 34, Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. So you see, Jesus is not doing his own thing. Jesus is doing the specific direction that God has given him. 
And we can also see in the life of Apostle Peter and Apostle Paul, Peter had a specific direction from God not to focus his ministry to the Jews and also Paul to focus, receive a specific direction from the Lord to focus his ministry to the Gentiles. So they're not doing their own thing. They have a specific direction from the Lord. That's why their ministry is fruitful and experiencing a lot of breakthroughs. Galatians 2 verse 8. For the same God who worked through Peter as the apostle to the Jews also worked through me as the apostle to the Gentiles. And this is Paul speaking right here. So, Peter received a specific direction to the Jews as an apostle to the Jews. And Paul received an, a specific direction from the Lord to become an apostle to the Gentiles. So, I would like to share to you about the importance of divine direction. Number one, vision without direction will end in frustration. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 15, The labor of fools wearies them, for they do not even know how to go. So, if there is no knowledge of the details, it will end in frustration because you cannot deliver what you're trying to do without knowledge of the details. That's why it says, when divine direction is absent, frustration is in view. If there is no direction, frustration is present. Number two, what God has commanded, God is committed. If God directs, He is committed. In other words, when God directs you, He is all out in support. All His blessings and His empowerment will follow you. Empowerment comes through direction. Jesus said, if you go, I will be with you. So, if there are struggles in our lives or fruitless work or absence of result, the root cause of these things is the absence of divine direction. Because if there is divine direction, there will always be result. There will always be triumph when there is divine direction. Number three, divine direction is the highway to great exploits. Daniel 11 verse 32, Those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall be corrupt with flattery. But the people who know God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. So divine direction is the highway to great exploits. Men and women of God who, have, who has done great things for God are people who receive divine direction. And as a result, they were able to do great things for the glory of God because they have received a crisp revelation of God's divine instruction. Number four, divine direction is God's recipe for triumph, especially in times of crisis. So in times of crisis, we have to humble ourselves and seek God and to ask for His direction because Every time there's a crisis, there is a solution. Every, every challenging situation, there is always a way out. Our capacity to receive those divine direction will only lead us to triumph and succeed in these difficult times. 
So in conclusion, I'd like to share to you how to get divine direction. Number one, be connected to God. You know, our God is our Jehovah Rohi. He is our God, the shepherd, our shepherd. That's what we read earlier in Isaiah 48 verse 17. He said, he will show us the way we should go. He is our shepherd. He lead us in the way he should go. You know, John 10 verse 27, it says, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. So, he, and they follow me. So, Jesus likened himself as a shepherd because he is functioning to us like a shepherd. He is our leader. He is our guide. So every time uh, there is a guide, there's no way we can be lost because uh, there is a guide. That's the function of a guide. Number two, be connected to the Holy Spirit. John 14 verse 26, it says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, He will teach you all things and bring to remembrance all things that I will that I said to you so the Holy Spirit is our helper so every time we felt that we are in the dead end or we don't know which way to go so the thing that we have to do is to ask the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will bring to our remembrance all the things that God has said to us through his words. The third way to receive direction is to be connected to our leaders. God gave us leaders to direct us in the things of God. Titus 1 verse 5, the reason I left you in Crete was that you might put in order what was left and finished and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. You see, Paul here is directing Titus. As an apostle, he is giving directions. That's the function of an apostolic leadership is giving us direction. So when we are under an apostolic leaders, we are not in lack of direction because they're always there giving us direction so when we tap into their anointing under their umbrella we will not uh, lack directions in our life specifically in our ministry and the fourth and the last of how to receive divine direction is to access God's wisdom you know, in Ecclesiastes 10 verse 10, wisdom is profitable to direct. The end result of wisdom is direction. When we are familiar with the wisdom of God, we're always guided because the result of wisdom is direction. God's word is God's wisdom. God's wisdom is profitable to direct. So, feel our lives fill our minds our thoughts with the word of god so that we will not lack divine direction so today if you felt you are in the end in a in a dead end and you felt frustrated because of lack of result in your life and ministry today is the best moment to come to the lord and humble yourself before the Lord and ask the Lord to give you the access to his wisdom and to humble yourself and open up your spiritual ears and to hear from the voice of the Holy Spirit because God will always lead us. He is a God who loves to direct. He is a God who loves to speak to us concerning his direction because he is our Jehovah Rohi, our 
shepherd, our guide, our helper. So today, I want you to close your eyes. If that is what you're feeling right now, just humble yourself. No, let's close our eyes and let's pray. Father, thank you for the word. Thank you, Lord God, for the impartation, Lord, of divine direction. Father, today, we humble ourselves. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to speak to us concerning your will, concerning your direction. Just like the great men in the Bible who received direction in their life. And then at the end, they experienced victory over their circumstances. Lord, we humble ourselves today, this moment, and we ask your Holy Spirit to speak to us and reveal to us clearly the specific direction that you wanted us to do concerning our life and concerning our ministry. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Nanan, for that word. So we can definitely apply that in our lives. In order for us to have a divine direction, we need to access that uh, direct relationship that we have with God and also, of course, with our leaders and as we continue to develop ourselves. So as a leaders, it's important us that we know that direction that God is leading us to. That's why we need to be very sensitive to the direction and to the leading of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Our next speaker is also one of the National 12 of Pastor Cesar in the Philippines. And he's from Grace Testament Church in Caloocan. Let's all welcome Pastor Rafi Pandilio. <laughs> 